I can change the sound. So basically this stream has to do with the microphone. So we're gonna we're gonna do stuff to make the sound quality the best we can. Um yeah. So it's a hyper X, you know, red. Let me show you the microphone. Like there, yeah. See, it's all cool and it's got this hyper X thing and it's all red. Yeah. It's a new microphone. Hooray for Ben. There's a lot of different settings on the back, which we don't understand. I can turn the knob and it's different kinds of sound. And um, also the default, oh wow, I'm like, there's something under the microphone too that I accidentally touched. Karen, oh, she left. That looks like the volume. Hmm. I don't know what I did. Anyway, uh, yeah. Luckily, nobody's here. This is like a test stream, but after like 10 minutes when the microphone's tip top, then it was a normal stream. Nobody's here yet because Twitch hasn't told anybody I'm here. So nobody's telling me about the microphone. Hey, Karen. Yeah, I was listening to Oh, the, um, I accidentally, I picked up the microphone and put it down. Uh -huh. There's this thing on the bottom here. Look at this. See this? Like oh, okay. it turns so like other, that's that's the volume I think. Okay, and the other thing's the gain. I would turn that down slightly. The other thing's the gain. Yeah, there's a knob somewhere. Like it's right in the back. Here. Yeah. Right yeah. So I would turn it down. Well, then turn it down. Let's try that. All right, but the thing is, in the front, uh -huh. that got to be the volume. Yeah, it is. It is. I got All right, so I I I was just picking the microphone up and down, and the volume thing turned. All right, I'm gonna go listen to it in here. Well, people are say on the stream. Oh, well, I'm gonna listen. To okay. It. I'll be right back. All right. Yeah, it's a new mic. So in the back, there's a gain button that can be turned. And Karen already listened for like 20 seconds and turned the gain thing. Then on the front of the microphone, it looks like it's, I don't know, the circles get bigger. So I guess that's the volume. All right. So anyway, I have no idea how it sounds. You know, definitely not muted. So should I ban them? Okay. Yeah, let's ban people who say muted. Okay. Uh, where's the muted guy? Okay. Band. All right. Uh, yeah. Audio is excellent. Okay. So, um, uh, okay. So w when I got, we set the mic up and I went to the computer sound on the other microphone, we have the volume set at 95 out of 100. Um, this microphone was set at 70 when I just put it on, so I moved it to 90. Then on the back, there's a gain thing, and on the front, it looks like it's a volume thing, I guess. It looks like it. I'll show you what it looks like so you could be confused like me. Okay, so you see this in the front, there's circles. Yeah, there are circles there. Then in the back, there's this knob on the back, and it's you know it's, it's yeah. All right. So so how was it when you were in there? One, one guy kept saying it was muted, so I banned him. Aww. Well, he's uh, he did say it twice, so he, I, I banned him. You you went to the lowest gain. What about this thing on the front? Where should that be? That's on front. I wouldn't mess. With okay, don't mess with that. Now I need a new anechoic chamber. Yeah, it's a HyperX. Now you, okay, gamer mic. Yeah, we got a nice, we get nice stuff here, you know, because I stream a lot. Okay, so Karen, during this stream so far, in the last four minutes twice, has turned the gain down twice. So, yeah, the point is, if Karen's sitting here, we want you to hear Karen. You guys can hear me no matter what. Even when it's muted, you can hear me. You're like, hear me through your walls. You're like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Hey, Mark. So we got a couple new mics. They're the same mic, but when Karen streams, she's going to use it too. It's the HyperX. It's all cool looking and red and so forth. Yeah. Um, Brownie with ice cream subbed. I didn't notice anybody subbed. Oh, there it is. I didn't hear it. Why didn't I hear it? I didn't hear your sub. Speakers? HyperX Quadcast speakers? What? Oh, I, I think I didn't hear your thing because I think the speakers are set to this microphone, which 
I've never had a microphone used as speakers to hear. Yeah, that's not good. Let me refresh the stream, by the way. Um, hey, somebody subbed, you know, Brownie? And then he or she said, um, you didn't acknowledge that I, you know, and I said, oh, yeah, I didn't hear it. And then when I went to see my settings on my sound, it says the speakers are this. Am I, I mean, I've never done that. I always have speakers coming out of my computer. I could change it, I guess. I just, yeah. I don't think the speak, I mean, I don't even, I don't know how I would even listen to sound through that. Yeah. Okay. So do I want LG? No, that's that. Or do I want this? Real, yeah, I think I want that. Okay. Anyway, um, I didn't hear, I didn't hear anything happen. So somebody do something like give a hundred cent to do's or sub so I can see if I can hear it. If it's no wait, 200 cents to do's. If you give a hundred, I won't hear it. Only 200. Huh? Oh, there's a headphone jack. Okay. Yeah. We're not, we're not doing that. Yeah. I could have the volume set to your plug a headphone jack and listen. Okay. I heard that. Thank you. I didn't hear you Brownie with ice cream because my computer was taken over by my HyperX and it used the HyperX speakers, so I didn't hear you sub. So thanks for the sub. I did hear that. So sure you, um, oh, can you, can you. yeah, no, I heard that because I I turned it to the computer. Anyway, I don't care about that. Um, how's the how's the sound on the microphone compared to previous streams? What do you think? On the other one, you could... What? I think it might depend on the sound from there. Yeah, but I want to know what the difference. You sound the same. You sound really good, but your room's a bit empty, so we're getting a lot of reverb, especially when Karen speaks. There's a bit more hiss, so it's picking up the computer noise. Yeah, yeah that's what I was worried about when I was trying to slow the, turn the game down. So I'm not sure about, I'm not sure if it's better. Ask Karen to sing, then we'll know. That's what Bonarici said. If you raise the audio floor a touch and lower the gain, the hiss will quiet. I think we lowered the gain all the way, right? I think so. Yeah. Need a pop filter. Please yell into the mic for testing. Rawr! How was that? Yelling into the mic. Uh, thanks, Farnsley, for the gifted sub. Let's see. Karen, say what again? It's not hiss. It's reverb small echo. It's because it's a condenser type mic. Right. I think the quality is improved. More ferocious than usual. I thought it sounded echo too. Oh. Can you yell at me all day? ZZ Big ZZZ is hosting me. It doesn't matter if I sound different. When Karen's on their side of the room talking, can you hear her? Well, it's, I, I heard the echo as well. So I don't know about that. I like that. Let's see. Well, I've got things right here. Uh, yeah, you either put it on the lowest or the highest. Nobody knows. No, I'm just do it. Yeah, all right. Yeah, the gain was on some knob, and then she, Karen has turned it twice. So this is either the highest gain or the lowest gain. Nobody knows. It might not even be the gain. Or it's not the gain. Mm -hmm. Uh. uh all right. Stereo on the direction. What do you want me to do with that direction? Yeah, that wasn't the game. So I have to figure out which one I want. That's why I went echoey. Mm -hmm. Maybe somebody can tell us what I did that different. What's the front knob doing? No, I assume the front knob is his volume. Yeah, these four choices. Uh huh. Symbol, stereo, omnidirectional, cut. Cardioid and bidirectional. Which one should I set it at? I'm going to read them to you again. Stereo, omnidirectional, cardioid, and bidirectional. This guy said cardioid is best. The next guy said cardioid is best. The next guy said cardioid. Cardioid. Oh, cardioid is only the front. The other ones are no good. You want cardioid. Hold on. Let me see which one that is. We've never had it on that one. In fact, I think it was on that one. You said that's no good. I don't 
Yeah, that's the fat one with a thing. If you want Karen to be heard, omnidirectional. Omnidirectional will make us not hear Karen. This guy said it makes us hear Karen. You you guys aren't giving good answers. That's why it's better to Google it or something. Yeah. All right, so what did you do, Stu? I haven't done it yet. Well, what did you do? Is that cardioid? Yeah. Right, let me see, because I cardiac arrest. That's definitely cardioid. I agree. All right. We keep picking the mic up and throwing it back and forth. So you're probably just hearing nonsense. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then I can lift it up like that. Let's see. What's good? This? I don't know. It's probably good. Um, cardioid is a heart shape. Yeah, yeah, we got it. It's on cardioid now. How does that compare to a minute ago, the way I'm speaking now and so on? It Well, it doesn't cost $100 more than the old microphone. It probably costs the same. It's just newer. This microphone is new. The other one from chess.com was like five years ago. Yeah. All right. You, you need to be banned. You're really annoying. Jesus Christ. All right. Oh, it was so good banning that person. Well, this the stream mainly is going to be discussing the new microphone, so sorry. Yeah, Put it in cardioid. I think I got rid of the echo. Yeah. The, the hiss they're hearing is actually your computer hiss. Oh, yeah, the computer it makes can a noise. Can you close this anything? Nope. There's nothing open. All right, because sometimes chest base... There's nothing open. Chest base is not open. Dark is in the background. Well, I don't know. How, what do you want me to do? You'd have to look in the password and make sure that... Well, you how do you want me to do that? If I go to the cast manager, they'll see my IP address and then I'll be banned. Yeah, I'm not doing that on the stream because they'll see stuff. Yeah, right. yeah, and I, I don't like them as it is. Um, all right, level two hype train is ending. We need six subs stat. Somebody donate six subs in the next 10 seconds. Yeah, I sound amazing. Thanks, Alex Fleck Chess. Do it. Ah, you didn't do it. You guys are the worst. Yeah, we can try the Omni setting at some point. Yeah. Let's see. It's probably a gain knob on the mic. Yeah, the front looks like it's a volume thing, unless it's a gain thing. The front of the mic has little circles that are filled in, and they get bigger. I just thought that was volume, but it could be gain. All right, that could be the gain. Now, you, it, 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 if it is the gain, you want me to turn the gain up or down? It's always down. Why does gain exist if it always goes down? Anybody? Karen's voice is harder to hear. No, Karen sits here and she's sitting way over there. It's not harder to hear. She's just not sitting here. Yeah, that's the gain. That's the gain? So, I wouldn't so turn it down? Yeah. All right. Wow. It went way past the knob. Yeah, that's one of the complaints about. Wow, it went way past it. Okay. I'm on the last dot, which is the lowest gain, but it actually can go much further than that. That was one of the complaints on the reviews. Oh, okay. Is that you don't have now you're too quiet. Go back. It's too quiet. Okay. All right. Now I'm between the way I was five minutes ago and the way I just was. Should I go back to the way it was? Keep going. What do you guys think? Testing, testing, etc. No, I agree. It's just weak. It's good. Undo. I like better than Botez. It's good. Keep it higher gain. It's nice now. No noise loud enough. You want the gain higher to reduce the floor, but not so high you get saturation. What's better, the way I was talking the first five minutes of this stream or now? Half of you are saying it's good now, and half of you are saying louder. Huh. So I don't know. I'm just talking so Karen can hear me in the other room. I like it. You like that better? Bonarici said keep it like it is. Thanks, Chess Coach Net. Yeah, I don't hear any hits now. So I think it sounds good. If Chess Coach is on, I trust him. Yeah. Because he's the answer's for, but before was better, a little louder. This is good. 
Uh, it's good now. It's good. Sounds good. Um, I mean, it can't get on my phone. Yeah. A pinch louder. Some people are saying louder. I could move it between the two buttons so it's in the middle. I can make it very slightly louder. There you go. That's between the way I was just speaking and when the stream started. This is right in the middle of that. So this is the perfect amount of gain. Can people hear me? Well, it's supposed to be in the front of the mic, so they shouldn't be able to hear you because you're over there. Why don't you sit here? Okay. Yeah, this is, this is, I don't care if they can hear you over there. I care if they can hear you when you're sitting here, like streaming with me. All right. Yeah. All right, now speak normally, not loud. Don't okay. and, and, and here do the dec do the preamble. I don't know. That. We'll take turns. We the people of the United States. In order. To form a more perfect union. <laughs> I don't. I'm not doing that. Establish justice, ensure you domestic so tranquility, yeah. provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, mm -hmm. and the, secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Do ordain this Constitution for the United States of America. Okay. Now say something, you know, something. Okay, can you guys hear me? Because I don't talk loud. Karen's quiet. So this is this is the same this so is the quiet. same as the as the Darn, other they say I'm still too low. Th so this is the same as the other microphone. Is it too, is it lower than before? Mm hmm Well we could turn I'm better. It's better than usual, says Dr. Chess Grimley, whose opinion matters more than some of you other folks. <laughs> um, what do you think, Brownie? Where did Chess Coach go? No, I want to know how this is compared to this morning's stream when I was doing Geary and Nepo and Magnus. Do the Gettysburg Address. Four score and seven years ago, our forefathers, blah, 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 dot, dot, dot. When I was in college, was a clown or barber? Uh, we had to write a speech about ourselves. And I wrote one score and seven years ago, because I was 27 at the time. And the kids in the class were furrowing their brow in a vain attempt to understand the situation. The teacher got it, though. Yeah. Yeah. I was surprised the teacher got it. We could, um, try, we could try the omnidirectional, but. What? No, we'll just move it like that a little. Okay. All right. Now, now. That's what we need this boom arm thing. It boom. Looks cool too. Boom. <laughs> yeah. You watched my latest video. Should we tell them any of the surprising news? Like, not don't tell them any information or nothing. Um, I mean, you can't give any details at all because. So you can't say nothing? All right. I mean, you could say in general terms, but you can't talk about the premise. You, you talk about it. <laughs> well, there's some interest in. And Ben possibly hosting a television show, but it's in the very initial stages. Mm -hmm. I mean, just conversing about it with a guy that has some experience in Hollywood, but we can't say who the guy is, and we can't say what the premise of the show is at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the guy, the guy's no joke. So yeah, yeah. he's a real. No, there's no tournament. We're only going to talk about the mic. <laughs> All right, so in the chat, which mic is better, this mic or the mic that we're the mic that I used to use, or same? I mean, Vote in the chat. We still have to play with the settings. Also, can you hear me? You like this one better, Doctor Chess Gremlin? All right, where's Chess Coach? I need his opinion. I think he just subbed and left. Most people said it's the same, and some people said this is better. Nobody said the other one's better yet. Hey, there's Gary. <laughs> Now, let me, now, this is, this is, now I have a serious question. I, I'm so not used to asking serious questions. I don't even know what to say. Yeah. If this mic is, if you believe this mic's better than the other one, if you believe that, why? What, what's better about it? Like, am I clearer? Am I louder? What, what's going on here? Why is it better? Mupex likes it better. This guy says this is better. Grandmaster Gowry yeah. says sing. Just sing something. This is clear. It's newer. It sounds clearer. They can hear. So you're a little bit better. It's a little bit clearer, crispier on the headphones. Yeah, I haven't mm. done a headphones test, so that is important yeah. to know. You sound clear, but more quiet. Hmm. Man, me being more quiet is probably good. 
Grandmaster Gowrie says it's about the same. It's very elitist. That's good. We can hear your voice is more pronounced. It's true. Okay. Well, Meepex is coming with some details, and that's. <laughs> yeah. Can you sing now or something, or I'll do Professor Twist. What's Professor Twist? It's a limerick. Oh, you go ahead. I and then you sing after. Think about something uh, to sing. They can tell me what to sing. Okay. <laughs> In the chat, tell Karen what song to sing. <laughs> Whilst I give you Professor Twist. I mean, I'm not going to sing. Yeah. I give you now Professor Twist, the conscientious scientist. Trustees exclaimed he never bungles and sent him off to distant jungles. One day at camp by fireside, the professor missed his blushing bride. A native guide informed him later she'd been eaten by an alligator. Professor Twist could not but smile. You mean he laughed a crocodile. Who, who wrote that? Uh, I don't know. All right, in the chat, who wrote that? Okay, they said Sweet Home Alabama, That's Amore, Baby Got Back, CCR. <laughs> it's hard to sing a cappella. You know? <laughs> Grandmaster Gowry didn't understand the story. <laughs> uh, Joe Bob. Now, that was Ogden Nash. That's correct. Strummer 57 and Bonarici. Bam, look at that. That got meerkat. <laughs> Ogden Nash is correct. Although you're spelling weird. Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So sing whatever they asked you to. Well, I mean, it's hard to sing a cappella. Yeah, just do it anyway. No. I'll sing. What do you want me to sing? Um, I don't know. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, I could sing a cappella, but. Yeah, sing something. Um, they want to see how it's going. All right, if you, you she's going to sing, but you have to donate during and after she sings <laughs> so she feels better about oh, no. it. Yeah. The it's guy hard. likes Norwegian wood. Isn't it good? <laughs> Norwegian wood. Start with Mozart. Please don't sing. You're banned in your children's <laughs> children. Yeah, that's the right idea. Please don't sing. Yeah. Sing It's Rain and Men. <laughs> Grandmaster Gowry says, sing, Karen. Go, Karen. 100 cent to do's. Anybody? Start singing. Yeah, then we'll see how good the microphone is. It's hard for me to sing, like, if I could stand off to the side and not have to. <laughs> well, just sing Michelle. Michelle, my bell, son, <laughs> I'm too shy to sing. It's funny to sing. Ensemble, très bien ensemble. <laughs> I'm not shy at karaoke at all. See, there you go. <laughs> Let's see, what does that say? Don't sing anymore. No, it doesn't say that. <laughs> yeah. Reverb, yeah. Well, I mean, I'll sing sometime. I'm not sure about this moment. Frankly, <laughs> terrible. Sing Leonard Cohen. There you go. When I was 17, I had some very good beer. I had some very good beer. I purchased with a fake ID. Mm -hmm. My name was Brian McGee. I stayed up listening to Queen when I was 17. <laughs> See, me Pex is a great... It's hard to say. I can sing like, if I had the music going, but mm -hmm. it's just a little bit harder. Mm -hmm. And I could do it, but... I yeah, that was good. I wasn't prepared. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that was good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's Anybody right. Anybody want we a DCMA strike? Sure, yeah. Sing whatever you want. <laughs> well, Let's I, see. if I had music. That okay, so I, I guess we don't really. What I need to do is once I can compare the video on demand mm -hmm. to a previous video and kind of see mm -hmm. the true quality of the audio. You can sing copyrighted songs if you're just singing them a cappella. Mm-hmm. You just can't play the music. Mm -hmm. It is a better mic. Good, good. <laughs> Keith misses mm -hmm. chess. Aw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can sing happy birthday because that's not copyrighted. It expired. Yeah. Or maybe it didn't. Wait, let's mm -hmm. see. Hmm. That's why they don't sing happy birthday. That's the important Darn. point. It's not worse. <laughs> mm -hmm. What happened? It's not the worst. <laughs> We're the worst. All right, let's have a tournament. Did you enter yet? It no, started. It's I'm round two. Go. On tissue, and then All right. maybe I'll sing. Do you want to have another, uh, what do you call it, or have a regular tournament? Um, 
or an arena? You know, I, I'd prefer the Swiss. Five dollars. Thanks for the I nice song from your age 17. Other people prefer. Yeah, that was from The Simpsons. So. Ooh, there's one vote for arena. Well, let's see. 21. For, uh, too late. What was that noise? Mm. Who's getting happy birthday royalties? That is correct. Uh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Nine rounds. Nine. Hey, Paul Drink. Good enough. Which are we still doing? Um, Swiss. Mm -hmm. Hey, trying not to learn. <clears throat> One, two, three. How to grow a beard as nice as mine? Don't shave. Man, that was easy. <laughs> the first time I grew a beard, I was sixteen. I went to England for a chess tournament, and I brought my electric razor because I didn't know and I couldn't plug it in, so I didn't shave and I had a beard. The end. Hey, Joe. Hey, Wolfen. All right, let's join the tourney. I mean, anybody can join. Now, we do need a thousand sub donation. So if anybody has five grand lying around you don't need, a thousand subs would help. And I would thank you. And my wife would thank you, et cetera. Yeah. Also, et cetera. Tournament starts in nine minutes. Nine, nine, nine. Plebes can join. That's true. Mm-hmm. That's all we have. <laughs> That's correct. I'm mm, trying mm. to figure out which one of these people to put on the TV show. So how many people did you ban that I have to unban? <laughs> I didn't ban anybody. Earlier. I don't know, three or four. <laughs> well, they deserve to get banned. What were they saying? Oh, stuff that gets banned. Yeah, I'm going to play. Yeah. Plady 360. All right, let me go. I'm going to go over there and join and um, check out the mod view. Mm -hmm. And then maybe I'll come back and sing in a moment since we have 10 minutes to kill. Well, so, no, eight minutes. Eight minutes. Mm -hmm. 999. Go new mic. Yay. Thank you. 999. 999. They all deserved it, said a peasy thief. Well, let's see. What does that say? Remember that if you get banned. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's a good picture of me. <laughs> good, good. All right. Excellent. All right, go into the tournament. Okay. I don't want uh, you to miss out. That's true. Mm -mm. And they're children's children. There's nobody streaming that I follow except Vampire Chicken. And he's got almost as many as me. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get like a one-minute game in before the tournament. Yeah, I don't follow as many people as you. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, I'm playing 2581 FM. That's not good because that means he's better than me. And he stacks paper to the ceiling. That's terrible. I wonder what kind of chrome he rides on. Time's not, I didn't lose on time yet, but I'm definitely considering it. never play F3 and I never did Some kind of noise I like. Five dollars. I like five dollars. Go five dollars.
Yay, I drew. I gained three rating points. I played 64 moves and had 11 seconds left. That's good, because he was high rated, and he's an FM. Wow. I made one mistake and zero blunders. Let's analyze the game, see if we both played in the 90s. What do you think? Um, I'm reviewing some mm -hmm. Yay. I played 96.4, and he played 95.6. In a one-minute game. Wow. Zero blunders for both of us. I made 39 best moves, 10 good moves, 7 excellent. All right. Five inaccuracies, one mistake. 96.4 is good because I made 64 moves in 49 seconds. Mm -hmm. So that's because of the microphone, I think. <laughs> Pretty sure. Yeah. All amped up about it. Yeah, there's a lot of amps. All right. Don't forget to play in the tournament. Yeah. There's the tournament. There's 27 players. I wonder if Karen entered yet. I'm going to guess no. No. I guessed right. Why not? I was reviewing. But it's Karen approved. Reviewing. We're already in round three. Yeah. That we're yeah. My opponent was a good sport, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. Terrible. All right. We have 250 viewers. We needed somebody to donate 1 billion subs plus tax. Yeah. Good mic. It's a pretty mic. Now, I know that my mic is pretty, but it's not as pretty as a couple of mics. Billions of subs. All right, I'll play some more one minute because that was fun. Not really. Three minutes until the tournament. Enter the tournament. You can donate more subs than the stream has viewers. That is correct. It hasn't been done on my stream, but it is possible to do. I pushed one minute, but nobody's in the one minute pool or whatever near my rating, I guess. Yay. All right, after this game, the tournament's going to start. Go, Ben. Go like a pro, Papa John's. Uh, should be some sack winning. I wish I could find it. I don't know what that sack does, but I'm going to do it. I think it wins. I think this is made. Uh, all right. I wonder how I played that game. Let's see. One mistake, one blunder. No. I thought I played, like, better than perfect, but I played worse than perfect. All right. Tournament starts in exactly one minute. There's 33 players. I played 88.4. He played 86. All right, that's better than, you know, not playing that way. Jack Rogers is in, and he's like a 1,000 points higher rated than me. And also, his jazz album is selling pretty well. That's that, you know, better than mine. Which tourney? It's a chess tournament. Are you in, Karen? Um, you are? Man, Jack Rogers is 70 points higher than me? Man, what engine are you using? Man, that's pretty good. What was my peak rating? I don't know. Something. 69 cent to deuce from Raspa69. I wish your name was Raspa1 trillion. Oh well. Truth hurts. If anybody knows any good houses you know, for sale in Hollywood, let me know. 
All right, 44, the tournament starts now. Good luck, you'll need it. Laptop Pro, he's the guy who performs a thousand points higher than his rating. Terrible. No, 392 is plenty of games to join. It's called User Error. Learn how chess.com works. Terrible. You probably don't have enough games in the correct time control. Let's see. Bishop B5. G6, etc. All right. Let's see. Band. And your children's children. Castles. Man, I didn't play knight g4 in the previous move. Shame on me. I'm a star. Woohoo! An opera star. Don't. Yeah, I can sack the exchange. I should pre move it. Mm hmm. I don't care how bad it is. It's my stream. Don't play. Don't move that knight. All right. Hooray for Ben. Don't forget to enter the tournament in case you forget. We got 45 players. It's a nine round, three minute tournament. Okay, then we're gonna do some more mic discussion. It'll be about other mics. You know, it'll be Mike D's gonna come on the show. I asked Mike D to come on the show once and he didn't understand why. So he said, what you, what you, what you want? And I wouldn't tell him. Right, Karen? Let's see. Ben versus the IM. There are no IMs in this tournament, but I've played IMs before. That's right. Mike Madisau is banned and his children's children. Mm hmm. Can we get Mike Hummer on the stream? I don't know. He's a pretty big celebrity. Maybe once, you know, I've had my show for a few years, he'll come on. Once I'm, you know, more established. Mike, come on. You're... Yeah. Yay, Bean Counter Strike 25 subscribed. Welcome back. Thank you. I haven't streamed in about seven hours. Thanks for the welcome back. Let's see. Check, check, check. I can't I can't get rid of this guy. He's got alligator blood. Right, Karen? Uh let's see. Carry the one. Takes 93. And take. All right. If he doesn't see he's in check, I'll win on time. It's my usual strategy. One of the Smurfs subscribed. Yay. Go Smurf. I wonder if it's Papa Smurf. Still theory. Oh, I, I didn't realize he could just move his king and I couldn't take his rook. I thought I would take his rook after I checked him. I didn't realize that I couldn't take his rook anymore. Oh. <laughs> All right. <laughs> eh, and so on. Yeah, he probably should have played king g4. So if I play there and he goes there, then f6 is mate. So I can't do that. Huh. Okay, I don't have to do that, luckily. Otherwise, he'd be winning. Can't play f6, mate. Yeah, a brilliant strat sacrifices by me. All right, a perfect sacrifice leading to a mating attack, except for one thing.
the new mic looks better than the old mic. That's all that matters. Doesn't matter if it's a better mic. It just looks cooler. It matches my shirt. Mm -hmm. All right, this is a nine round tournament. We have 44 players remaining. That was the end of round one. Round two will be coming up. Nigel Pinchley, I mean, shortly. 99 cent to do's. Two cents to do's. I did buy the new mic to fix my IP address. That is okay. That is correct. I'm blind or there is no mic in the frame. Both. Hmm? Plato subscribed. You watched my lecture on the Queen's Gambit, named after Mr. Gambit. Yeah, we had a sponsored lecture that came on our Chess Center YouTube page today that I did on the Queen's Gambit and so on. And then ch chess.com, uh, I did Game of the Day, which was put up last night. The Pomniachi's Draw with Geary from their match yesterday. And that, that has more views. So they both have thousands of views, but that one was put up first. Chess.com, unfortunately, in a marketing snafu, does not put who does the video when they do game of the day. So you don't know it's me, but it was put up, you know, like 20 hours ago and has like 6,000 views. You can find it on the Chess.com YouTube page. Go, Ben. Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. Still theory. Well, I don't know if it's good, but, you know, it's, it has to be played. Knight G5 is too easy. <laughs> this is a lot more fun. Uh, I'd give it all away for a little more. Aw. No, I definitely should have played knight g5. Oh well. Live and learn. Uh, always retreats. All right. Man, vampire chicken's offline. Nobody's streaming. Boo. No, that move makes sense. Boo. Boo. Happy Canada Day. Yeah, Anish Giri made some joke. I don't. There's millions of peaches in Georgia, and they're free. And they're also for you and me. Look out. You are a new microphone. I am a new microphone wearing. That is correct. You know, I can castle. What, what, is there some issue with... Jesus. I wonder why I can't castle. That's strange. There's always these bugs in chess.com where I can't make certain moves. It's weird.
Yoda Feingold, that's me. Nimzovich, some bitch. We can still enter the tournament. Do it. Yay, I won. I'm the best. Except for Jack Rogers. Go, Karen, but stay there. <laughs> Forty two players remain. If you I don't know. It goes up and down. All I know is I have the best microphone. Or it's not one. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yummy. So in the last stream, we were discussing, you know, Casino versus Goodfellas. So when I got home after the stream, I turned on Casino. Casino is a pretty long movie. So probably it's too long for most of you. You can't watch things that are like more than 100 minutes. It's almost three hours. So I can see why you don't like it as much. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's almost as good, if not as good. Goodfellas is also three hours. I mean, that means that most of you that like Goodfellas didn't watch it all because you can't, you know. Yeah. It's trying to learn. Go Joe Pesci, that is correct. Never play F3, no, boo, etc. Funny, what do you mean funny? What kind of funny? Eh, Rita Rudder funny. Rita Rudner? Why, thank you. Yeah, I watched The Irishman a long time ago. It's, I mean, I've seen all of his movies, so it's, I already saw all that stuff. Hmm. Trying to learn, joining the tournament late. Wow, you're, you're withdrawing in reverse now. Trying to learn, you got here late. I have a new microphone, HyperX nonsense. That's why it sounds so good. Something. Still theory. Rocky and Bullwinkle? Is that like a children's show from the 60s? Probably. With good old Boris Badenov and Natasha and etc. Still theory. Mm, are you going to play there? Yeah, I'll treat like a Frenchman, not like an Irishman. Hmm. Do 
Take that or interpose, you know, something. What happened to Pietro? Pietro used to come on our stream. What happened? Let's see here. Takes. Yeah, he might take my bishop. So there's a chance I'll take my bishop. So I should do it. Oh, well. I tried and I failed miserably. The lesson is never try. Still theory. Knight B1, that's not possibly not the best move. Damn, this is where, you know, Uma Thurman says, God damn. Normally I would pre-move A, B, but I just thought he'd resign. Oh, I had to move my arm. Oh my God. Check the exchange on my stream. Always retreat. Setting up for the next game. Oh, I can sack the exchange again. Yes. Man, I sack two exchanges in this game. And I'm, oops, I meant to take this pawn. And I'm way ahead of material, even after that mouse slip. And I get some lift and not war. Sack two exchanges and made a mouse slip and still up a queen. Sounds like a good book. Non elitists in the chat. They're banned and they're children's children. What do you do? Rook d6. All right. Let's see. Is he going to hang mate or hang his rook? That's going to be interesting. I don't know. I can't even guess. I'll guess he hangs mate. Damn, he hung his rook. Ah, oh, I'm so stupid. Why am I so stupid? Man, I can't believe I didn't guess that right. Terrible. Hooray. Our games ended the exact same time. How'd you do? I lost all my games. Oh, I won all my games. They want to know if you're available to coach. That's what it says. Are you? If I play beginner? Oh, it didn't say. Okay. No. She, she says no. I'm just a She's going to be having you know, these parties at our Hollywood mansion. <laughs> Like the, and she's watching Casino again to see how Sharon Stone did it. Yeah. What's my shirt today? It says "Roar." That's ridiculous. No, he meant to. No, he I don't think he meant that. I think so. Maybe. Uh, yeah, we do have to watch out for James Woods, even in general, not just because of Hollywood. Just mm -hmm. got to watch out for him. I hate him like that. Wait, what happened to Jack Rogers? Oh, there he is. Fly, eagles, fly. I'm going to fly like an eagles. Why isn't there a RAR emoji? You're right, we should get one of those. I wish there was one. I guess there just isn't. Oh, snap. There's the raw emoji. Uh, let's see. A4, I guess. Gotta get that rook active. And defend my pawn. Don't wanna lose that pawn. Mm -hmm. 
stool theory. Me go the warrior subscribed. Just went through your lessons on the Chagor and I want a game with it. Usually I play trash. I mean the Tarash. Hmm. All right, now Karen, for a trillion dollars, what's Tarash's first name? One second. One second is close. Oh, I can sack a queen. That's pretty good. I like sacking a queen. Let's see, rook takes knights, bishop takes knights. All right, that's the funniest line I can think of. It's still theory, too. That's the important thing. See, my rook defends my pawn this way. See, this is the weird thing about this game, is that it's still theory. And I can keep sacking my queen. Eventually I will. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but someday and soon. Uh, I don't know, here, here, I guess here, I don't know. Mr. Semi Tarash. Life is swell. That is correct. Meta world peace Tarash. Close. It's actually world be free Tarash, but thanks for playing. Still theory. Good thing my rook's here. It is weird that it's still theory that's true. Rook d6. Where's my tactical tricks? Tricks are for kids. Hmm? Rain I Y H subscribed. Good, good. I think other people are better than me a puzzle battle like Ray Robson. All right, still theory. Something. that I had Jesse's position da, 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 da. why can't I find a position like that bum, 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 bum. Oh, huh? I played very theoretical in my game yeah. well it's um then I took all his pieces it was fun how are the tiebreak cal numbers calculated? Nobody knows. Keep feeling compensation. Mm. 
Let's see. Jack Rogers is losing to us eighteen hundred. That's interesting. White's play is pretty easy too, yeah, except for taking like on g five. Right? So the important thing is to never move when you have three seconds left. Oh well, Jack Rogers tried to lose, but he failed miserably. The lesson is never try. All right, there's three players with four out of four. Me, Jack Rogers, and the guy who beat me yesterday. Bartholomew will probably get a GM title eventually. Uh, yeah. I, I agree. <clears throat> Man, I got four out of four, and I'm playing the three out of four who was beating Jack Rogers. Yeah, dang it. What is GN Sam for? General manager. Good old Robinson. Good old Ray Robinson. Sort of an unknown GM, but he's good at Puzzle Rush. Assistant to the general manager, you, you'll, you'll be like doing trades and stuff. I think you can get Bonds and Griffey and not have to give up too much. All right, almost 400 viewers to do. What do you do, Bishop? Here? What the heck's that noise? Is it a fire alarm? 999 from R.A. Kelly. He decided not to put his two cents worth in. Thank you. Will I become world champion at 60, obviously? And frankly, I mean, if this sack is wrong, I don't want to be right. By the way, this sack is really wrong. But, you know, it's like fun. So. My opponent's probably scared because, like, I'm a GM. And he's like, oh, my God, you know, sacks of peas. It's got to be good. I love when they think that way. Look at that high-level set. Oh, it's my turn. Well, if he doesn't see the threats that I have and his flag falls, then I win. Don't play knight g6. Don't play knight g6. Don't play knight g6. I spit in the man's eggs. He spit in my eggs. FG, I, that was inspiration. It wasn't perspiration. All right, so if I take this or take this, I don't know. Sack a queen. Man, they both lose. Um, Let's see. What noise annoys an oyster? I don't know. I guess I'll take that away. Maybe he won't see his rooks hanging. Then I have a chance. You always say that. I want to take a chance. Hey, I think he didn't see his rook was hanging. All right. I knew if I'd said something crazy that would happen. My queen's attacked and my pawn's attacked. I better save them both with no other reason. Oh, man, I can't see because I'm old. Mm. What happened? Hey, you didn't play, you know, something. All right, now if he goes here, I can second exchange. Damn. How am I supposed to sack the exchange? Oh, that's how. 
Oh yeah, I didn't see that. Darn. Ugh. Let's see, what if I take this? Takes my queen. I'm down a queen. Damn. Oh. Uh, come on, I gotta have a trick. Tricks are for kids. Yeah, my queen's hanging. You make me laugh too much. Love my streams. Thank you. Um, whose turn is it? Mm, I guess I'll go here. Man, I was doing well until I wasn't. Tripling up on the bubble up. We represent the bubble up tripling up. And we're going to triple you up on the bubble up. Queen D1. Where's my tricks? No, nothing works. Not Vishwa, nothing. Always retreat. Oh, man, now I can sack the exchange. Or I can take this. All right. So I'll take that. Sack the exchange later. Doubling up on the bubble up. We represent the doubling up on the bubble up. I wonder, so this is, now this is my F pawn. Because I went here. And I, where, where these pawns come from? What, what are they? How did this happen? Is this legal? How, which pawn, how did these pawns get here? I need to know. Oh, so my pawn on f3 was from the, my d5 pawn. Yeah, so this pawn went here, here, here. Did you win? No. And this pawn no, went I here. I won all my games, so we're 50%. But I'm not going to raise You're not? Man, you, don't, you didn't get lessons from trying to learn? <laughs> How on earth did I win? I won on the clock and on the board. What do you mean? New mic is less loud than previous mic. Incorrect. This mic is even better, and it's louder. You just don't know how your computer works, which isn't surprising. 420 viewers. View them if you got them. I will review them. It's, the, yeah, it's obviously better. I don't know you know how you know it's better? Because the guy said it was lower. Yeah, that's why. Jack Rogers said it's time to play. And I'm going to beat this guy like a dingo ate his baby. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not sure who I'm playing because I don't know Jack. Man, look at these free rating points I'm going to get. I mean, good luck, sir. Yuzi, the jazz, Yuzi. I'm playing Jack Rogers. He's the best player in his chair. Go, Ben. Go like a pro. Papa John. Yay, I fiend countered my rook. I'm the best. Not sure what I'm the best at, but whatever it is, that's that's what I am. Well, let's see. C4, knight C3. I don't know. He has to have some winning trick. I just don't see it. But he has to. Rook, rook A1. Knight A2. I don't know. Whatever. I was losing before this guy was born. 
it's a, a tricky, 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 tricky. Still theory. Yeah, I'm either gonna lose all my pieces and get mated, or I'm gonna win a piece. There's no in between. Well, something's gotta give. See here. Uh, all right. Still theory. This guy's working on his night moves. I guess I'd like to castle if possible and avoid a hassle. Let's see, night before. I guess that's good for him. Uh, e4 takes carry the one. All right, so plus tax. Let's see, what if I attack his queen and then play rook a1 when my knight's defending my rook? That makes more sense. The important thing is it's still theory. All right, so now what am I worried about? Not knight b4, uh, all right. I guess bishop g4 could be annoying, yeah. It's probably not that annoying though. Bishop d1, really? Yeah, I don't really care about that, I guess. Anyway, this, this, is, uh, many, th this has been played many times in the past. In some of the Carlson Anand matches, we saw this position and uh, Kasparov versus Dufai, and so forth. Some <clears throat> Queen D1, or Queen D, Bishop D1, still theory. And then here, yeah, all right. And then I don't know. So confused. And now you know what it's like when God has a gun. My opponent hung his queen when you said I hung my queen. When you said that, my opponent hung his queen. So you gotta say stuff like that more often. Uh, let's see how that game went. Let's see if I played in the 90s. First 10 moves I didn't play well, I played okay. 93.6 I played. He played 71.9. All right, I played okay that game. 93.6 is acceptable. Okay. Yeah, well, it didn't matter when he hung his queen. You won? Yeah. yeah. Somebody when my opponent hung his queen, it didn't matter. No. Like, he could have resigned. Yeah, he could have resigned. It's, by the way, it's possible hanging his queen was the best move because I'm threatening queen h6 check and knight here mate. This might be the best move because it defends knight e7. So.
Not great, not terrible. Yeah, but okay, the opening I played so bad. Thanks for the rating points, Jack. Um. I'll make you feel better with some smooth jazz. Snake jazz. Why does my opponent have five points and he's 1,500? What's happening here? What? Stop, stop doing well. I'll have you banned in your children's children. Yeah. I can also do snake rap. Bitch. Bitch. That was that. Is that good? One cent to do. No, I haven't listened to a song because I'll get banned from the internet, even for listening to it not on stream. It's unfortunate. I will listen to it. It's, it's true, it's true. This guy's earning his rating. God damn. Man, I haven't seen a beating like this since I lost a bet to Karen. Damn. Do you give online chess lessons? I do not. Is Anish Giri a good player? Chat. Yes. Chess bras have 8,000 subs. Chess bras used to have the most subs. And then they didn't. Man, how do I not have like mate and one here? Do I have mate and two? Uh, God. I don't know. I just feel like he's going to take with a queen. I don't know why I feel that. I just do. No, nothing is telling me he will. I just feel like it. Yeah, okay. Same thing. Yeah. So I to get his queen out of there. This guy had five out of six, huh? All right. What, what, I'm too elite to play this guy. King Crusher used to be... Did you hear the Anna Rudolph song? Anish Giri, Twitter world champion. Chess Bros have 8,000 subs. I have 1,000. That's pretty good. Let's see. And your children's children. <clears throat> Yay, four hundred twenty viewers. Hooray for us. It's me. Have you watched Shim Kier Chess? Jay Groges 2801 subscribed. Good rating. Very elite. Yeah, that's good. Good, good. Let's see. Huge fan of chess bra. Did you win? Mm -hmm. Yay. I also won. If you look at my final position, you, and the cops arrest me, you'll know why. Do you see my position? You put your glasses on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right, what kind? What country is this? Is this a country? France. Man, that guy played queen here. That's not retreating. All right, I have seven out of seven. Jack Rogers is still playing. Let's see. How's Jack Rogers doing? Let's see. He's losing on time, but he's better on the board against fifteen hundred. Man, frankly, what is he, me? BG Yoshi subscribed. The Gawking Rabble, Karen? Yeah. They said Chess Bra has 8,000 subscribers. 
That doesn't sound like them. Yeah, probably just making it up. Hate when they make stuff up like that. And the other gawking rabble said Eric and Alexander are dating, which is obviously not true. 5,000? They lost 3,000 subs in the last minute? What do they mean? Man. I mean, I guess they could be. Mm-hmm. find it hard to believe. Gotta believe something. So Jack Rogers has a dead drum position and has less time. But I know he's going to win. I don't know how he's going to win. Can't win on time, can't win on the board. But he's still going to win. There's like no legal way to win this position for White. And still he's going to win. He's 10 seconds behind and he has 0% winning chances on the board. And yet, it's 100% he's going to win. Unless it's 200% and I miscalculated. Which is also possible. So if, if it's 200%, I apologize. Man, no legal way to win this position. I know he's going to win. He's going to win on the board and on the clock too. That's what's funny about it. And he can't win on the board. Somehow he's ahead on time, even though he was down 10 seconds. Which doesn't make any sense. Yeah, take your time. Good idea. <laughs> yeah, lower rated players just love losing. He can't help it. There's no way he could possibly lose, and he did it. But at least he made it to move 100. That was good. 102 moves. How does Jack Rogers have nine seconds left? He was down 10 seconds. What? All right. I'm playing the guy who's always beating me. Yeah. It's Pam. Who's always beating you? What? Some guy said I always beat him. Oh. Yeah. He's called the opponent. I don't know. Here. Get this guy out of his prep. How did I lose that? I mean, you didn't even put up a fight. You're 10 seconds ahead, and when the game ended, your opponent had 10 seconds more than you. And all you did was move your bishop back and forth. How? I don't even know how it's possible. I knew it was 200% you were going to lose. I just didn't know why. I just It was just going to happen. I was losing before you guys were born. I know how to lose. By the way, the the people who claim which is basically everybody, you're a GM. You don't understand what it's like to not be a GM. Yeah, I was born a GM. I was rated 900 before all of you were born. And then four years later, I was 1,100. And now I'm about 1,200. I don't know. You know, I know what it's like to lose every game. I lost every game before you guys were born. So when I see a game, I know the guy's going to lose. I lost that position a million times. Etc. Well, dated, but you made it sound like they were dating now. Ridiculous. Also, no lying on the stream. Always play King B1. Let's see. Never play F6. No matter how many times I click it, I still get a ticket. Uh, here, here, I guess there. Born barely a GM, that's right. Now you're talking. I couldn't even bear the proud man's contumely when I was born. It was terrible. D5? What? Now I gotta think for a second? Oh. <sighs> Two bishops, what else? If he doesn't fork me, I'm sitting pretty. 
See, he played f6. My rook's on a4 where it belongs, except for one thing. At least I have an extra 45 seconds. Where's all my viewers? Where's my million subs? Where's my donation of $99.99? Recommended by Barbara Felden. Anybody? No? Um, well, that's a good score for my rook, except for one thing. <sighs> I'm not good enough to play queen e1. I don't know. I guess I gotta play queen e1. Oh, I gotta play queen f3 or queen h3 and, and win the lost endgame? Ugh, I hate winning the lost endgame. B5 is annoying. No, it's not. I guess this is the right move. It just took me 35 seconds to see it. Because they're old and terrible. Where do you download your jokes? Somewhere. Jokes and jokes and spaghetti, spaghetti. And that guy gave it away. Did you go to Georgia State, sir? Is there any checks? No, all right. Rook takes a six. God damn, I said god damn. Now you know what it's like when I have a gun. You're no daisy. You're no daisy at all. Come on. <clears throat> You don't want my rook, huh? Well, you're going to take my rook. Queen d5. Let's see. Takes, takes. Fork you. What happened? Real Spaghetti King subscribed. Good, good. Um, I don't know. Here, I guess. <laughs> Nine ninety nine. Thanks, BG Yoshi. But we're, this guy's too good. The Jack guy. Okay, what whose turn is it? Mine. Mine. Rook F one. Oh, he's hoping that I pre moved and then. See, I pre moved taking this, so I didn't really help him. That was a good try. If I pre move something, he takes that. That was pretty good. He tried and he failed miserably. I guess Karen won. LJ Gonzi put it in H, my tier three. Yeah. What do you have, three out of eight? I think you won your last three games. I have eight. Jack Rogers has seven. Such Sweet Thunder has six. Remember the game you looked at at the end that I had like 700 extra pieces? Yeah. That guy has six out of eight and he's in third. Mm -hmm. And he has six out of seven other than my game with him. Mm -hmm. All right, last round. Why not queen takes d8? Uh, I, my queen can barely move as it is. Now I can move my queen. I only know how the pawns move. And that's it. That's pretty good for 1672. Pretty, pretty good. Plays the engine, move every move. Well, not, not that. But, you know. Yay, 209 centages. Thanks, Plato. 
You're the best person who ever lived. Maybe my standards are too low. Well. What's the main highlight of your chess career? Probably this game. I got the two bishops. Extra pawn. Yeah, definitely it's this game so far. What can GMs do that non-GMs can't? Everything, I guess. We're much more elitist, I guess. So that's that's the main thing. Non-GMs normally don't have an endless supply of Perrier. That's the main issue. They don't have a baller chair like I do or microphone. Better tables at restaurants, Papa John's. That's right. Made with Bishop and Knight. No. Oh. I've heard no wobbly sound today. No, let's make some wobbly sounds. Chess Sweep streaming has three viewers. That's triple the usual amount. Why does Naroditsky only have 164? What's wrong with him? And damn. This is like child abuse. I hope I'm not playing a child. Yay, LJ Gonzi gave 9,009 uh, centidues and also started a train and gave 154 emotes. So that, I mean, a lot was accomplished there. Like, I, I just said a lot of words. Um, all right, I'll, I'll retreat. Thanks, LJ Gonzi. You're the best. I like the 5,000 thing because it does a weird thing and it never stops ever. So that's cool. That put us level five of the hype train. Just that one donation. Good, good. All right. We made it to level five by getting one donation. Still more than usual. Um, I'm looking, but I can't find a move that doesn't win. I mean, F5 is the most annoying. So I, I guess I'll go there. That's what like a good GM would do. I usually just play the you know, stupid move. Not really a grandmaster. Barely a grandmaster. LJ Gonzi earned a 10K bits badge. God damn. Come on, you guys don't let him get away with that. Somebody's got to outdo him. Come on, Adam Wallace. Stop working so much and you know, get on the stream. Don't let him do that to you guys. Make you seem inferior. There we go. We got Kangaroo Moo gave five subs. All right. I won nine out of nine. So I think I came in first. Karen's playing a 909. 909. Let's see if Karen's doing good with against the 909. Her time situation is not good, but her position is pretty good. You just got laid off, then donate half. No. Go, Karen. Yay, thanks for the 57 cents. Plato, thanks for the one cent. Thanks for that. Thanks for nothing. I mean, thanks. Oh, you were doing well. You, you were plus nine. It said nine. Yeah. Plus nine is my favorite plus. Okay, so I won. Jack Rogers was second, and Kitchuvinoid was third. You know the usual suspects. Yeah, and my hype train did good because the guy gave 9,000 cent to dues. So that put it on level five. Yay. Yeah. And then Kanger Move gave five. LJ Gonzi and Kanger Move, they crushed it. Yay, thank you. Go, everybody. Mm -hmm. 
Plus nine is my favorite plus. That is correct. Pam gave uh, 900 centidues, I think. Three, six, nine. Mm -hmm. Yay. And I got nine out of nine in the tournament. Yay. And then 10 emotes shared. We have 180% on the hype train. Come on, these microphones aren't cheap. Let's go. All right, there's the final results. Hooray. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. We will now pause. To, yeah, Mark, somebody already pointed out it was Canada Day. Yeah. You can get right up to the mic. Like right up to it. You're not close enough to I'm the close mic. Enough. I'll tickle you. Man, if that's $20,000, that would pay for the mic and the chair. Hey, $99.99, dodging the Yay, scam train. Yay, that was great. Yay, Thank and also $9.99 at the same time. I'm, I'm getting confused over here. Yeah, $9.29. Thanks, LJ Gonzi. Thanks, JAA. Gave, um, Thanks, Mr. Turtle Saurus. Last night, too. And Than, Than Hid. Than, I can't, it's going too fast. Than HLD. Seth Lichtenstein is gifting a sub. It's all happening. Yeah, G. I Rorickson, 99, gave 300. Look at the 273%. That's a good percent, right? Mm hmm Yeah. I just remembered I forgot to email that guy about the books. Mm hmm That's correct. Mm hmm Yeah. So you have to have a positive attitude, because if you have a negative attitude, that's absolute zero. If you're not sure, who do you ask? Calvin. Correct. <laughs> now, you're, now you're making sense. <laughs> 200 centages, thanks, lead and or lead a or lid or something. I've, I've heard that joke a few times. Yeah. It's not 999%, says Jay Minkler. Nine subs, 11,500 bits. Yeah, Ooh, I need to great. email you, Minkler. Absolute zero is a negative. Are you positive? <laughs> you have to ask Calvin. Yeah. Absolute zero is a negative. Should I ban him? Spelled isn't wrong. Oh. <laughs> no, because no punctuation. Then I just have to, hey, non attach oh. me. Well, then I just have to unban him. All right. It causes me work. Yay, it's Pam. <laughs> also, it's Pat. Yay. All right, do you want to see my game with Galfand, with Fidel Carales Jimenez, or another game? Haven't you shown the Jimenez game? I've shown times? both games a thousand times. <laughs> All right, let's let's memorize a Morphe game. Ready? Um, Wait, three hundred centidues, wild rumpus. How do I get lessons for me? You don't. I don't give lessons. All right, you want to see my favorite game? Yeah. You can <clears throat> I want to show you a game that he played, but I don't remember it. I don't think I have any chance of remembering it. It's the French defense where he wins in fifteen moves. I really should know that game. Usually you remember what's going on. Yeah, I like this game a lot. Where, well, I can't make moves because it's not my analyzing. Uh, who, wait, who is it? I don't think I can remember the game. It's Morphe's Black against Doofus. It's one of my favorite Morphe games. Right? Mm -hmm. It's. I know it's an advance, and I know that the guy plays here. Right? Mm -hmm. I know that. Yeah, now I don't know the move order, but I could, I could make the game up. I don't know the move order. There's no name. Is that a yeah, he's, no -name playing, he's playing a doofus. Yeah, I don't mm -hmm. know. Here, let's see. What did the guy do? He played B3? Eh, no. That's that's all I got. Eh, I give up. Hello, cousin. All right. So let's see. Morphe wins miniatures. French. I wonder if that'll do it. <sighs> It says another Morphe shorty. I like that. <laughs> right? Another Morphe shorty. Where is it? Do I have to type in Control F? Terrible. Morphe. No, that's not the game I want. Maybe we do. I did. Um, Jay Wolfland was asking when I stream. You know, I need to get back to regular schedule, but I'm very busy. Last time I streamed. I had to delete the video on demand. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, stop swearing so much. <laughs> well, mm. Ben was accidentally in it. Now, this, this claims this is the only game Morphe ever played the French. 
I probably should have played him more often because, I mean, <laughs> he beat the guy to death. I mean, I never saw anybody get beat this bad. What's funny on this? Yeah, why is that there? It's an advertisement. <laughs> they can't see it. I know. I can't even see. The game's not even popping up because they had advertisement. All right, there we it go. It goes away. Yeah, okay. That's always on chess games. They always have those kind of advertisements. Breasts? Yeah, on chess games. It's chess games. It was a typo. They thought it was chess games. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. No, but it's true. The, the, they got a lot. They're, you know, that's got to advertise. All right. So according to the internet, which I don't believe, this is Morphe's only French defense. Probably probably should have played it more often. Yeah, damn. All right. For all of you Carlson lovers out there, here's a good lesson for you. You know, Carlson should play more 1,200 players. Okay. So see, I was right so far, right? Yeah, hang on. Mark that was es good. Are they kidding? Mark Esserman can't possibly be banned. Mark Esserman banned. Well, I, I believe that. Why? No, I'm not saying that, like, I'm not saying he is banned or he isn't, mm -hmm. but I believe that. Oh. That's not like, oh, Mark Esterman's banned. That's a shocking. <laughs> yeah, no, that, I believe that. I yeah. think it's a joke, though. Uh, well, one guy said it's true, so I don't know. Yeah, what did he do? Is Mark Esterman really banned? And if so, why? She likes the juicy gossip. Oh, yeah, I gotta know all the, you know, what's yeah. and the whys. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, anyway, now, I was right. Look. Okay. This is what happened, then I forgot Back what happened. Back to business yeah. here. All right, now you play the French, so try to play like Morphe, all right? You see, you would do this, right? That's how Pretty, I play. Right. Usually he plays classical right. music. Spencer told you to play 97, but... Okay. You know, I don't really like that All right. line. Banned for music? Well, you you haven't ever pushed for that. He's not banned. Move. Are you talking about Dr. Disrespect? Probably. Okay. But, hey, wait, before we continue with this game, um, I mean, what what is your opinion about the Spencer move? Yeah, no, it's just, you have to know the line, that's all. Okay. Touch the line, you don't play it. No, um, I, I have played it, and I actually played it in over the board game, and it does mm -hmm. surprise people. Yeah. All right, so we get this position. F4 is obviously bad. Mm -hmm. All right, now here comes the smackdown of all time. Yeah. All right, check, takes, and then rook c2, and then knight e3. God damn. Now you went so fast, I can't God, even look, tell what's going God on. God damn. White incredibly resigned. I know, but he's just way too fast. So black sack to peace. Okay. Then he's threatening the queen because I said so. I see that. Then instead of knight c2 check, which really wins, rook c2, the queen's attacked. Mm -hmm. There's nowhere to go. Okay. Then the queen's attacked again. There's nowhere to go. Okay. All right. I got it now. I'm caught up. Now. God damn. <laughs> um, hey, it's Adam, Adam Wallace. Wallace. SM Rosny subscribed. What? We wondered Thank where you. you've been, Adam Wallace. I've been texting you all day. Adam, we have a thousand subs less than usual. <laughs> Not that I'm recommending anything. It's true. We had 2,500 subs at our apogee, and now we're at our perigee, right? <laughs> or should I say apex? And then, and, and so now we have 1,100. You know why we have 1,100? Because we have more than yesterday. That's why. Yeah, we had a bunch of people. A long time ago, I went from 1,200 to 300, and then 300 to 2,500. And then what would the spinner say? I'm working my way back to oh, yeah. 2,500. Okay, now, now, now here's what's funny about this. In these positions, it looks like black has a lot of good moves because black has a lot of good moves, mm -hmm. right? Now, you read the number one move to me. I can't even see it. Bishop takes. Mm -hmm. Now, read the number one move. Knight B to D. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Knight takes B4. Before. Now, read the number one move. Rooks, oh, it changed. No, but you, the one that says now. Rook C2. Okay, now read the number one move. Uh, rook takes. Well, wait till it gets Morphe's move. Otherwise, I look bad. <laughs> it actually likes rook takes more than 93. That's hard to believe. It's similar. Beef Burger 1113 Drive uh, subscribed. Should I ban him? First uh, of all, he said F6. Okay. <laughs> then he's Beef Burger. You know. So ban him, okay. No. Thank All right, you, 93 resigned. Now we're going to see how good Morphe play. What I want to do is do a whole stream of Morphe games and then do reports on them. And then see if he played like in the 90s every game. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe he played 20. See I don't if know. he lives up to the fantasy. Yeah, because he's obviously better than anybody who plays today. God, people play today are terrible. All right. 
he played 80 and his opponent played 40. The game didn't last very long. But he made no mistakes, no blunders, and no missed wins. So that's good. He's the best. Not sure why it only says 80. I think it was inaccurate to win a queen and force his opponent to resign. But nobody ever gets beat like that unless Magnus hangs his queen on purpose. Then okay. Now let's look at another game and see how he played, right? Okay, so we'll get rid of it because I know some other games. Yeah, I think it'd be fun to have a Morphe story. Now this is my favorite Morphe game. Three Wild Rumpus, 300 cent to do's. Yeah, no, he played the opening. Yeah. No, 80% is great. He's the best. He didn't want to make fun of his opponent too much. Yeah, eighty percent. You know that's good. That's okay. not that good. No, no. Now here's another Morphe game. This this will be the true test or something. I don't know. <laughs> All right, here. I hope it's not another you, eighty. You guys watch it over here. I'm watching. All right. I'm waiting. All right, and then here, here, here. You you know this game, right? This is your favorite game. Um. All right. I'll ask you at the end what. You know. Well, I wasn't paying good attention. That's okay. I'm not seeing anything. All right. So for a trillion dollars, okay? Um, yeah. How many times did that bishop move? Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but it's a trillion dollars. You miss. Um, let's see. Uh, six. Five. That was good. All right. Yeah, it went one, two, three, four, five. Mm -hmm. Okay, now here, what move did Morphe play that said Morphe style? Um, what would Morphe do? Like Jesus, but Morphe existed. Well, he likes to get all of his pieces right? involved. So, so probably Rook D8. That is correct. Now you're making sense. Mm -hmm. All right. And then here, or is it here? I'm getting old and tired. I already forgot. How do I not know what movie made? I've showed this game a million trillion times. Was Rook D8 the most recommended move? Probably. We're going to do an analysis soon. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, now in this position, Morphe played a move which showed what it's like when God has a gun. Uh, right. I've shown this a million times on the stream. I'm probably not usually even paying attention. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. When God has a gun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, God wishes he could play this move. Um... Well, I'm not going to know. All right, so look at the first move. What is it? Uh, it's hard to see from here. Knight G3. Is that what you would have played? Uh, I was looking at that just because yeah. I was trying to find a check. It was not check. I know. Now, but that attacks the queen, move. you agree. Yeah. So probably you should move the queen. Mm -hmm. you, you agree. Yeah. We're, well, your rook's hanging and they get this checks. So queen takes queen makes sense, right? Yeah. And then checkmate. Oh. Yeah. So after knight g3, he super resigned. Delete. Uh, let's see. Delete move. I can't see mating twos. <laughs> All right. So we're going to do analysis of this game. I'm guessing white didn't play like a super GM. Hey, Caligam. That's my favorite Morphe game. Go Morphe. Did that one have one of those? Morphe played games? 99. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yay. He played 10 best moves, two good moves, and seven book moves. No inaccuracies, no mistakes, and no blunders. Now, if you look at some of Steinitz's games with Chagorn from the World Championship, that might be like a negative number accuracy. It might be like negative, you know, mm. it's not even possible, but it might happen. Mm. Those are some of the worst World Championship games I ever played. Every move double question mark. There was one game where the guy got made it in nine moves. Because he didn't see Maiden Wines, he got Maiden. He's like, ah. yeah, this is, those are the best players in the world. 99. I hope you guys, you know, are bad and you should feel bad. That is my favorite Morphe game. All right, let's look at the opera game and see how he played. Right? The opera game? No, yeah, the opera game. You've memorized the opera game. Well. That's, you know, pretty good. I don't probably don't have any more. Yeah, you, you, know, you know everything. Chess with Ovi's ring with a party. 21? What? Did you kidnap 20 people and put them at different laptops and force them to log in? I'm going to call the police. Hey, Ovi. Welch's grape juice subscribe. Thank you. Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Morphe played 99 that game. I hope you're all ashamed of yourself. I hope. 
for doubting what I said about Morphe. Mm -hmm. This is your favorite game, right? I mean... You told me this game. We were, like, laying in bed or I something. I did. I, were we laying in bed? What were we doing? Yeah. We are driving in a car? I don't know. We were doing and something. And then I, I recited every single yeah, move. Yeah, because that's and what I'm we do. I'm not very good that's with That's what we names. do in bed. You know, is we, <laughs> this is what we do. Exciting stuff. All right, so that's the game. Mm -hmm. Then what I promote. I did. Promote. I can say this one. All right. Sometimes. And then we delete. All right. Let's see how Morphe played that game. Now, remember, he was watching an opera... So he was covering his ears while he was playing. He had to move with his nose. So, I, I mean, he's not going to play too good. You know you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you know, this wasn't like tournament conditions, you know. He was playing an opera, you know. Kidding me? Pam can't believe how, 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 how did Morphe play? Oh, that's pretty How'd he play? 99.4. Yeah. How does opponents play? 13. <laughs> not good. 99.4 is good when everybody makes fun of me for saying how good Morphe was. 99, 99.4. I'll put some, we'll put some Magnus games in where there's a rook next to a bishop and he doesn't see rook takes bishop. No, it makes sense. You want to put a Magnus game? Here, let me show you a Magnus game. Let's see how he played. Maybe Magnus is better than Morphe and I'm wrong. I mean, I, I could be wrong. Let's look at one of Magnus's most recent games, shall we? Okay. I don't see how you can compare the two. All right. So here's, here's one of Magnus's games from yesterday. Yeah. I mean, how do you think he played? He did. You don't. You have to compare the opponents too. Then the quality of the opponents. <laughs> yeah, that was good. <laughs> so I don't think you can do that. I wonder what the engine yeah. thinks. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the game that Magnus lost on purpose. I know. Yeah, that's why it was funny. Yeah, she knew. I knew. We Murphy was about using it a washing many machine. Many times. Yeah. So the last two games, Morphe played 99 and 99.4. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good. I knew you were going to show that game, too. Now, there's this crazy Morphe game where there's no way he played good, but I really like the game. Morphe, who was he playing? He was. It was in the Philidor, Philidor defense. Morphe game, Philidor. This was the craziest, most complicated game ever, so I don't think he played. I don't think the engine's going to like it. Like the Philidor better than Geary, though. Jesus. Who's the opponent? I don't know. Uh, Seems like none of his opponents have you know, names. They, they got names. <laughs> I got a name. The thing is, that was a Philidor, his famous game. So, I mean, you can't compare. Philidor. No names. To, Morphe. You know. Okay, Morphe best games. Dang. That'll do it. Best games. Fabi. What? Well, let's see. All right. Now, I'm not saying he's no good. He's, Morphe, how would I know? Morphe, yeah, Mirage Morphe's the game that I showed. Maybe it's not. Yeah. No, it's not. Morphe's best games. There's a game where he's black that I want to memorize in a, in a Philidor. Where he plays the Philidor. He, here's what he does. Okay, Morphe's black. All right, now, don't cry. I want you to guess what move Morphe played here with black. I want to see how many guesses it takes till you get it. Um, Guess moves you think are good for black. Well, I would say knight f6. Okay, continue. I'll let you know when you get it. <laughs> so I guess it was some strange move. Yeah. It's, you're not guessing. Um, oh, it's definitely this game. God damn, it's this game. Yeah, it's definitely this game. Or maybe it's not this game. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe oh, no, it's not. This is also a good game. This game is too complicated. Or is this the game? Let me see. No, this isn't the game I wanted to show you, which is... Oh, wait, here it is. Yeah, yeah, this is the, this is the game. I just clicked on the wrong one. Okay, view. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. He played here. Is that what you would have done? I made a series of Philidor videos for chess.com, and I said that loses by force, and I showed how white wins. All right. Now we're going to see how Morphe played this game. This is going to be tough. All right, so here, PGN, there, there. All right. All right, this is one of my favorite Morphe games. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. All right. And then revert, and then yeah, and then flip it and reverse it, right? 
Okay. That was that's when when she said flip it and reverse it, she was talking about Barnes Morphy, right? Come on. What? Yeah. Is it worth it? What do you mean? But flip it and reverse it. What is that saying from? Yay, Gonzi <laughs> said knife F five. That's right. Miss Missy Misdemeanor Elliot. That's oh, right. Okay. Let me work it. I knew I had to be a Thank uh, you, Diffender for gifted subs. Diffender. Yes. Yeah, Missy Elliott was always talking about Morphe. I'm like, what are you Diffender doing? For. All right, now, in a shock to your system, yeah. which person that we know very well is a Missy Elliott fan? It's not somebody you would suspect. Somebody That's... I know in person? Oh, yeah. And uh, you'll, you'll be like, you'll look at me like. I think I do know this. Spencer. No. Oh, it's not Spencer? No. Peter Giannatos. Oh, Peter, yeah. really? Oh, yeah. Hmm. No, Gaster's never heard of Miss Not yet. <laughs> okay, you watching? Now, yeah. this is the most complicated game of all time. Okay. And then Morphe hurts his arm taking the guy's pieces. He had to go to the hospital. And he, he died of dysentery. He gave me to watch. I had that hunk of metal for five years, and I give you the watch. <laughs> Pulp, Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Yeah, they, they get it. Is that when they left the watch and they had to go back and get it or something? You don't want to know where the watch was. I mean. Yeah, yeah, that watch. I don't even remember yeah. it. You just talked about yeah. it. Yeah. Now, what you guys don't know, even though I've said it on stream, and I don't understand it. I'm just relaying the information to you. He spoke nonstop for like two minutes, Christopher yeah. Walken, to young Butch. And before he gave the speech, he drank hot sauce. Supposedly that stops your voice from cracking. I don't know why. And then he gave the speech. Yeah, Christopher Walken. Don't forget to watch. Okay, uh, Tarantino is the best. Okay, you watching now? I'm watching. All right, now it's getting complicated here. See? I don't go too fast. No, but it's too complicated for humans. I know. All right, threatening mate on F two, right? Right. All right, D four. Knight F7 is a blunder. F3 is no good. Man. All right, are you, are you watching this? Mm -hmm. uh, no crying. Now, you see how the bishop can take the pawn, but it's defended by that bishop? Mm -hmm. All right, so Morphe took it anyway. Okay. And then after takes, he played the only move you would ever play here. Um. That means you wouldn't play it. <laughs> Think of the last move you would play. Then that's probably it. The last move. Yeah, like I'm not playing that move. Well, I mean, the last move I would play would be, you know, sack my queen or something. Yeah, but knight d3 check. Mm -hmm. Now, remember in this position when the bishop was here, so after knight d3 check, you could take with the bishop. Mm -hmm. But now you can't take with the bishop because you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All right. So you, well, if pawn takes, bishop b4 is annoying. Do you see how annoying it is? I do. So he took with the queen. And then he castle, which is funny. Then bishop takes knight, threatening queen c2 mate. Right? All right. Now, in this position, black's up like a thousand pieces. Right? Mm -hmm. But Morphe doesn't like, oh, I'm up a thousand pieces. Morphe still plays like Morphe. He's like, I'm Morphe. Right? <clears throat> what happened was, Morphe just heard about the story of, you know, the, the the crocodile crossing the river and the scorpion wanted to go across and got a ride on his back, right? Mm -hmm. Might be a hippo, I don't know, right? Mm -hmm. So that's why Morphe played like Morphe, because he's Morphe. You agree? Yeah. You understand? Oh, yeah. You do? Yeah, oh. tell me that story. Good, okay, good. Now, you, now you're watching? Yeah, right? watching. You, you watching us? Okay. <laughs> King F8, why? Um, I mean, I mean, it's obviously, dun dun, dun dun, dun dun, get out the way, move, the move. The rook, the rook, the rook, yeah, so he does, giving up his bishop, right? Mm -hmm. And then he says, you know my name is the Lord when I play that. See, and Carlson would have done that and resigned because he's giving his queen away on purpose, right? Yeah. Then after knight check, he takes that too. God damn. 
So and you guys are like Morphe was no good. He only plays ninety nine every game. Man, Bishop takes e six. God damn. All right, I'm gonna give you a quote, and you tell me who said the quote. Ready? Okay. For a trillion dollars. Okay. All right, trillion. If Morphe were alive today, he would beat everybody living. He was the most accurate player who ever lived. Who said that? Yeah. Um. I'm guessing some people in the chat know. Okay. Some so people are going to say me because they're so being silly. So I can't silly. look at the chat then. No, I'm sure the chat knows. I mean, I don't have any idea, so Kasparov. Very good answer, Bobby Fischer. Mm. Yeah. He said it like 1964. Now, who said this? Somebody asked somebody, a world champion, yeah. if you were to play Paul Morphy, what would you do? And they said, I'd offer a draw. Who said that? It's a world champion. They world champion. Could be right. Um, they probably don't know this one. I've said it on stream, but they don't listen to me. World champion. Yeah, they don't know. All right, Kasparov. Spassky. Okay. Nobody even said Spassky. I said a world champion, and more than half the answers aren't world champions. Although Joey Bats, that's a good answer. Billy Bats. Yeah, I don't know that many. What? Capablanca. All right. Look at, look, look at Morphe here where Bishop takes E6 and Knight D3. Are you kidding me? Are you are you kidding me or you're not? What's the first engine move? You can just pretend to look and say the moves that he played. It's hard to see from here. It's the movie played. Yeah, oh. and then it's the movie played again. He plays the first engine move every move. Oh, wait, what's and then the these guys are like Carlson's better. On what? This game? What's that? What is that? Well, I'm going to look. Okay. Now, in the opening, the engine is not going to like the way Morphe played because this engine, this opening is like refuted. But he played so good after. It might take the neck and make it like 99 anyway. Like, mm -hmm. he's playing 10. Oh, now he's playing so good. I just call it 99. Yeah, the first 10 moves, the engine is going to be like, this is the worst chess I've ever seen. Then it's going to be like, oh, that was good. Yeah. Oh, wait, set position's wrong. Yeah. It's not going to like the way Morphe played the opening. That's, that's the problem with this game. Yeah. Because Morphe's losing out of the opening, according to modern theory. But, you know, are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, how'd Murphy play? 98.1. That's pretty good considering in the opening he played a line that's like loses by force and nobody plays it. Yeah, that is really 98.1. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. So far good. he's living up to the fantasy. Yeah. So he plays 98, 99. That was a really complicated game to play 98 because. Yeah. yeah. And, and that guy, that's pretty good for a guy in 1800s. They didn't, you know. Yeah. Can't see the full board. Too bad. Actually, I have a report button so you can see the full board. Mm -hmm. That should do it. Yeah. So Morphe, the last three games I showed, played 99.4, 99, and 98.1. So I hope you're all ashamed. Not sure why. Just, just do it. Yeah. Was Morphe, Rufus and Doofus, that guy played 87. They asked if he was a good sport. Of course he was. Right? He would, after he would beat you, he would give you a gift, usually women's shoes. Not sure why. What? It makes sense. As long as you don't know why it makes sense, that's good. What a beast! That's right. That's right. I see soft spoken. I'm loud spoken. Yeah. Okay. Now you now pay attention. You guys are like, well, you know, and you you can't even talk, right? Take some of your Steinitz games and your Lasker games and your Adolf Anderson games your Zucker Torque games and your Blackburn games and your Marshall games and your Capablanca games and your Pillsbury games and, and then tell me how often they played 98 and 99. When you find a game, let me know. It's every game I show you. So I hope you're all ashamed. Thank you. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, Morphe was good. But the funny thing is the people who are the Morphe haters, right? <laughs> right? You listen to the Morphe haters? I don't know any Morphe haters. They're, they're all like, oh, if Morphe played today, he'd be 2,000. I've never heard Josh Friedel made a video saying Morphe would be 2,000. Ronan Harsvi said 1,900. Wait, who because a lot of 2,000 and 1,900s play 98, 99 all the time. All the time. But who, is, who said it? Ronan Harsvi, Josh Friedel. Okay, who's that? I mean, Jake, remember Jacob from the St. Louis Club, the tall guy? Yeah. He said, I'm better than Morphe. Morphe 2,300 max. 
I got it. With his computer thing. analysis. Who listens to him? Right, exactly. Wait a yeah. minute. I, what about the women's shoes? I feel like there must be something I'm missing here. Well, th- theoretically, it was claimed Morphe did, wore women's shoes like in his house, but that I don't, I don't know. That's probably just made up. I hope. Yeah. For what reason? You know, I don't know. He like women's <laughs> shoes. I don't know. Me alone. You know, I, I'm not talking about. I'm talking about his chest here. Let's forget about his shoes. Let's concentrate. No, I mean, also. If you go to a Wikipedia page of a chess player, right, like mine, yeah. it's like Ben Feingold, the end. And then if you go to like Kasparov, Carlson, Fisher, Karpov, it's really long, right? Yeah, Kar- Morpheus wouldn't be 800 pages long if he was 2,000, right? And then, and then, by the way, the game where he played 99, where he, would that game that I like, the, you know, where he played 9G3 at the end? Yeah. He was giving a blindfold simul that game. Okay. So he probably wasn't 2,000 strength. Probably. Man, I've never been so mad. I Can you ban me, please? No, nah, I'll never ban you. Wait, who You're said? too good. I don't know. Yeah. Man, Morphe was good. He was the goodest. Now, I want to do something I've wanted to do for a long time. Okay? So we have to turn the camera off. Oh, wait. So <laughs> we're going to look. We're going to look. Wait, what happened here? Karen approved Blitz. Okay, rules for stud polka. All right, so we're going to look at Karen's favorite game from Hastings 1895. Steinus versus von Bartoletum. That's Close. mainly correct. Uh, I okay. His name. So we're going so and then we're going to and then we're going to, you know, we're going to host we're going to report. Do I have report. either names right? It was Steinus. They're both they're both names. Uh, von Bartoletum, right. Now you've memorized this game. So I'll just I'll just excuse me while I whip this game out. I have not memorized this. Right? Game. All right, here, 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 here. Every, I'm sure you know this. Oh, wait, I, I, I did it wrong. Sorry. Obviously, he took this. Promote variation. Ridiculous. Okay, here, here, here. Never play. F6. Queen e2. Queen e7. Rook c1. Question mark. D5. Double x clam. King here. Knight e6. Here. Queen g4. G6. Uh, check here. Takes here, 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 here. Resigns, right? You agree. Um, that's what you were thinking. Okay, so that's... The, all right, yeah, sorry you can't see. I don't know, you've seen too much. All right, I don't care about what you're seeing. I gotta do I gotta do a report on that game. That's Steinitz's, like, most brilliant masterpiece ever. Yeah, I need to get a tissue. I don't even really yeah. get that ending right there. Because we'll, we'll analyze it. Okay. I don't want to see the report answer until Karen gets back. He resigned after, I thought he resigned after Rook G7 check. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure he played King G8, Rook G7 check, then resigned. I don't think he resigned. I don't think so. No, taking the queen on d7 loses every move for white. Are you ready? Almost. Did you have an issue? All right. Okay. <laughs> this guy's telling me that he resigned a move before. I don't believe that. Hmm. All right. 99.3 and black played 97.3. God damn. Good. See, what you guys don't know, even though I've said on the stream like 40 times, Von Bartleben, who they've never heard of except for this game, mm-hmm. right? This was round 10, and the first nine rounds, Von Barleben had no losses. And then he lost this game, which is like one of the greatest games ever. Then he didn't win any games after that. Man, truth. It was a really long tournament. Broke his spirit. Yeah. Yeah. No, I am great. I agree. Yeah. Right? The guy said my Wikipedia is good. So that 99 against 97, that's pretty good. And and I think Steinitz came in third or fifth. Now, who won Hastings 1895? For a trillion dollars. And as a bonus, I'll throw in a cake. Who is it? Anybody that I've even heard of? Mm-hmm. I gave you a hint when I added on there. Oh, okay. oh Pillsbury. There you go. Yeah, a trillion dollars and a cake. Yeah, Pillsbury. <laughs> Where's my money? Now, for another trillion dollars, what were his first and middle names? Pillsbury? Um... I don't know. Harry Nelson Pillsbury. All right. He's your favorite? 
All right, which which world champion's grave did I visit? Um, it was in Paris, wasn't it? Oh, I don't know then. You're confusing my mom visiting Callis' grave, or Chopin's oh, grave. Yeah, Chopin's yeah. grave, yeah. Chopin. Steinitz. Okay. He's buried in a cemetery that straddles Brooklyn and Queens. Right? We yeah. could go visit next yeah, time. Yeah, I'm not sure. Next time that. we don't want to get COVID. <laughs> yeah. No, I didn't visit Fisher in Iceland. When I was in Iceland, Fisher was alive. Frankly, ridiculous. All right. Thanks for watching the stream. I'm going to be back at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern time to show you the Geary Nepomniachi match. And when that's over, I'll be having a, you know, you know, our meeting on the TV stuff has to get my agent involved, I guess. Okay, let's see. Puzzler, live chess. Yeah, All I right. forgot we have to get up early. But who has to get up early? Us. Yeah, but early for you is like 5 a.m. You can get up like at 8. Come on. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll be up already. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. All right, thanks All right. for the nine cents to do's. And, the, and now somebody was asking, you were confused about this game, right? All right, so knight g5 check. Now I can take your queen. So he defended his queen. Oh, yeah, the ending. Right. Now here, rook takes rook mate is annoying, so you can never take the queen. Right? Mm -hmm. And the queen can't take because rook takes rook check and queen takes rook check. Oh, okay. So, and then he resigned here for obvious reasons, right? Mm -hmm. it, well, not that he resigned. So this would have been the finish if, um, if, they, if they had kept playing. Right? All right. Make sure yeah. you memorize that later. Well, you've shown that ending before. Mm. It's, it's confusing to me. I'm not very good at calculating. Yeah. All right. So I have to rate either this guy or that guy. Man, tough choice. Definitely the first one. What about that guy? No, I like the first I one. I know. But, I mean, yeah, obviously. Mm -hmm. Okay. But one guy has $18 million in tournament winnings. So I don't know. Yeah. Narrow digits. How did I spell that? Um, yeah, I think that's right. I did? All right. Yeah, okay, good night. The wrong analysis all the books have is in this position. Yeah, where is the where is the wrong analysis? Hold on a second. I've said good night now three times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we don't have to go. Ben does a lot of underdogs. Hmm. It's, it's good to mix it up. I don't know. I've shown it many times, but I can't remember. Here. Oh, this is the move where the wrong analysis is in some books. Yeah. So in this position, some books give, um, in this position, some of the books say 90, 90, 94 check, which is wrong. Black's winning here. And the idea is you win the queen, but you can't win the queen because it's mate. So Black's actually winning here. Yeah. Yeah, in this position, if you take with the king, then white has a million ways to win, but some of the books actually give it the wrong way. So ridiculous. Gib can't subscribe, seven months. Yeah, thank you. All right. So I'll see you guys at 10 o'clock. And before I see you at 10 o'clock, don't forget, 